Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise? Ladies and gentlemen, would you all please rise?
Chers diplômés, distingués invités, mesdames et messieurs, parents et amis. Bonjour, welcome. I am Steve Harvey and I'm Dean of the John Molson School of Business. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this special ceremony. For our graduates, convocation is a time to celebrate important achievements and to reflect upon the future. Indeed, you are in U.S. James B citizens of the world and leaders of tomorrow. Concordians are proud, JMSB faculty and staff are proud to see you graduate and to wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Félicitations à chacun à chacune de nos nouveaux diplômés. And I would like to ask everyone to please now stand and join Ms. Danielle Poland, soprano, in the singing of O Canada. Good afternoon, welcome, bienvenue et félicitations. <coughs> Motivational speaker Harvey McKay said that a great accomplishment shouldn't be the end of the road, just the starting point for the next leap forward. Between the apparent, road, the apparent end of the road, the end of your studies, and the next leap forward, another degree, a job, or a journey, there is a pause a moment, this time, now. Entre le dernier pas et le prochain pas, il y a ce moment, cette célébration de vos succès. And in this moment, let us give thanks for relationships that you have built, knowledge that you have gained, challenges that you have overcome, and possibilities you have imagined. Rendre grâce pour vos expériences enrichissantes et pour vos succès et vos, vos accomplissements. And then, when you're ready, leap forward, follow your dreams, pursue your hopes, and draw on your strengths. And then let us all work with each other and build a world full of wisdom and knowledge, a world of peace and understanding. Agissons et rêvons d'un monde de paix et d'amitié. Thanks. Please be seated for vous asseoir. Dear graduates of the John Molson School of Business, Mr. Ambassador, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, congratulations to each of our new graduates on this magnificent day of celebration. This is, this is indeed a tremendous, momentous occasion for you, our graduates. I, for one, recall the day I was in your shoes a long, long time ago, I might add, and I remember how excited I was to have made it through my degrees and made my professors proud. But today is also a big day for your support networks, both old and new, for your families, loved ones, and friends 
of course, but also for the Concordia community of students, staff, faculty, members, and your fellow alumni. Today, you're arriving at the end of a demanding academic process, I know. You can be proud of yourselves. It is indeed a great achievement, much greater indeed than you probably imagine. Today, we're not only handing out diplomas. Today, in Montreal and Quebec and Canada, we're saying, here are, here are before you the leaders of tomorrow. This is the real significance, in my mind, of this ceremony. You all know Henry Ford, the founder of the automotive company, the Ford Motor Company, invented the first car. At the end of his life, he was asked if succeeding in business, he was asked, meant listening to customers. You will be surprised by his answer. He replied, no, because if I'd asked people what they wanted, they would have said, me, said to me, faster horses. And you also know, perhaps, you all know Einstein, who at an event, not unlike this one, when he was speaking to new graduates on one of the many honorary doctorate degrees he received, he said, and I quote, it is high time that the ideal of success should be replaced by the ideal of service, end quote. Service is pretty close to leadership, you'll understand. I think the essential, what really matters, can be found indeed in these two quotes. Out of politeness, perhaps, listen to what old guys like me have to say, but above all, listen to the little voice inside of you that tells you what tomorrow's world should be like. And ask yourselves, why not? Better still, ask yourselves, why not me? And then, make it that way. Don't underestimate ever your ability to change things. You are already, more than you think, agents of change in our society. The world you want is there. Beginning today, it is between your hands. And don't forget that it's also in the hand you extend to your neighbor. I can tell you that the greatest satisfaction you will experience will come from the moments when you feel like you've made the world a little better place. You are hope. Every one of you can be a leader in some way right now, straight out of university. Take one of your fellow Concordians, Gabriel Brand Lopez, for example. In 2007, after graduation, in this very hall, Gabriel saw a problem. At least he, saw, he thought he saw one, and that was that the high school dropout rate in Quebec was alarmingly high, particularly here in Montreal. He also saw an opportunity. So he asked high school students, which he visited in inner city schools, what would motivate you, you fellows, to stay in school? And their answer was simple. They said, projects that are interesting and relevant to us would make us stay in school. So Gabriel decided to become a social entrepreneur, and he created Youth Fusion. He enlisted Concordia students, such as yourselves, and recent grads like you to engage these at-risk high schoolers in hands-on, real-world projects. And the projects might involve business or technology or the creative arts, whatever interested them. Right now, I think he has about nine or ten different projects that span all these schools. It is indeed an elegant, simple solution, and it's been a win-win because the targeted high schools have significantly lower dropout rates today and higher graduation rates, while Concordians, in the same breath, gain valuable work experience helping others. And barely five and a half years later, Youth Fusion now has the support of 12 universities across the province. It hires 165 university students who together invest over 70,000 hours of direct work with 10,000 at-risk youth in no less than 78 targeted schools, including seven Cree in the James Bay, and seven Inuit in the Nunavik. You too can make a difference that will make you proud. And there are so many public issues that need you, your ideas, and your talent. I encourage you all to take action because, simply because the world needs you. You can make a difference that will make you proud, and I know also that you're going to be happier for it, I assure you. Now, it is with you today that I reach the end of my four-year term as Chancellor of Concordia University. And I can tell you that the diploma you now hold bears the seal of a university that is unique in North America. 
Concordia is an exceptional place of freedom, creativity, respect, and openness. As the Concordia graduates, you will take these values in society and they will influence your entire life path. Be proud of belonging to the large community of Concordia graduates. For my part, I've, I've been fortunate to see from the inside the evolution of this laboratory where society's future is being conceived. I've witnessed the professor's passion, the researcher's enthusiasm, the employee's pride, and I've been honored to speak on the behalf of Concordia to stand up for this unique institution, to champion the university movement, and to champion Montreal. Here before all of you, I want to thank Concordia for this, and especially our president, Alan Shepard. Cher Alan, on a tout fait, mes collègues et moi, pour t'arracher à Toronto, pour te convaincre de devenir président de Concordia. Et te voir ici aujourd'hui, heureux, à Montréal, avec ta famille, si profondément engagé dans notre communauté universitaire québécoise, c'est tout à fait formidable. Tu incarnes de façon exceptionnelle, Alan, le caractère unique de Concordia. Et merci de tant de générosité. Et je souhaite... You're the best, Alan. Et je souhaite la bienvenue aussi à mon ami Jonathan Wiener, qui me succède bientôt, qui me succédera bientôt comme chancelier. Jonathan, vous le savez, est un grand Montréalais qui fera honneur à Concordia et qui a d'ailleurs déjà laissé sa marque sur l'université comme maître d'œuvre de plusieurs grands projets qu'il a su mener à bien. Bienvenue, Jonathan. Donc, chers diplômés, c'est à vous désormais de sauter sur la glace. We are proud of you. Nous avons confiance en vous. Merci et bravo. Congratulations. Best wishes to all. And thank you for listening. And now I invite our president and vice chancellor, Alan Shepard, to come forward and say a few words. Alan? You've almost made it. Bonjour, bienvenue à tous et à toutes. C'est un grand plaisir de vous voir rassembler ici aujourd'hui pour célébrer le diplôme de 2014. After today's ceremony, you'll always be a Concordia graduate. You'll have that with you. You've gotten a great education in a great city. In fact, one of the world's great cities for higher education. It's a very livable city, green space, beautiful architecture, walkable, incredible culture, and of course, the world's greatest hockey team, Go Habs. Yeah? I, I was taught a phrase recently by the chair of our board, as soon as we start having victories, it smells like the cup. I can't say it in French yet, but I'm working on that. J'espère que votre expérience à l'université a transformé votre regard vers l'avenir et que vous tirez une grande fierté du travail que vous avez accompli. If you think about the person you were when you started here, you're probably not that same person today. You've changed and you'll continue to change thanks to many forces. Yes, your formal courses with professors, but also interactions with them and classmates and others in studios, in labs, maybe in co-op programs, maybe in community service. There have surely been some difficult moments too, but whether you're up against historical forces or your own limits, all change that's worth pursuing will present challenges. At Concordia, you've laid important groundwork for what comes next. En même temps, vous êtes devenu membre à vie de la communauté de Concordia et de sa noble mission. Concordia's strengths today as an urban, bold, and engaged university are built on rock-solid foundations. This year, we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of Concordia, which marks the union of two of its much older founding institutions. There was first Loyola College, founded in 1896, which followed the teachings of St. Ignatius of Loyola and a Jesuit tradition that prizes rigorous critical thinking 
and lives of service to others. Considérez comme les extravertis de l'Église catholique, les Jésuites ont aussi voulu amener le enseignement dans leur rue avec le désir de changer la vie des autres. The perfect example of that life of service to others is our outgoing chancellor, Monsieur Jacques Menard. He is a leading banker across this country. And he is also, as some of you may not know, one of its leading philanthropists and one of its leading members of a society that cares about itself. He's the past chair of the board of Hydro-Quebec. He has done many, many things to help Quebec, his beloved Quebec, to work on the problems of youth dropout rates, for example. Est-il joue aussi un gros moteur dans la Renaissance de Montréal, dirigeant aujourd'hui le sommet Je vois Montréal le 17 novembre prochain? Jacques, on behalf of Concordia, I want to thank you for all you've done for us, formally and behind the scenes. Your dedication to Concordia is unparalleled and deeply appreciated. Our other founding institutions are George Williams, dates back to 1926, named after the founder of the YMCA, which devoted itself to adult education and to access to education. L'Université Sir George Williams offrait surtout des cours de soi aux étudiants adultes qui avaient des obligations familiales ou professionnelles. Today, we are what I call a next generation university. We prepare a diverse group of students, you, for a global world that loves our graduates' can-do attitude, your brilliance, your entrepreneurial energy, and your ambition to make the world a better place. So good universities develop a kin culture, if I can call it that. Students and graduates, faculty, staff, look out for each other. When I'm out and around talking to our alumni, almost 200,000 now, the passion for this institution, the respect, the gratitude they have for their time here, and the doors that they have opened with Concordia's help, those are the recurring themes. No one knows the value of your education better than you and your classmates. Alors, profitez-en, profitez gardez le conduct avec eux. Stay in touch with each other and stay in touch with us. Bon chance, merci et félicitations. Mr. Chancellor, <clears throat> it is my honor to present to you Mr. Michael Sabia, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Caisse de Dépôt et de Placements Québec. Mr. Sabia is an outstanding business leader whose accomplishments have shaped the economic landscape of Quebec and Canada. En tant que président et chef de la direction de la Caisse de Dépôt et Placements Québec, Mr. Sabia est reconnu par sa rigueur et sa détermination. Après avoir aidé la Caisse à surmonter des difficultés découlant de la, frise, de la crise financière, il a su repositionner sa stratégie d'investissement afin de naviguer dans un climat économique changeant. Ses résultats financiers et organisationnels sont effectivement de première classe. Mr. Sabia has been a vocal and passionate proponent of the role of entrepreneurship in Quebec's economic growth. As head of the Caisse de Dépôt, he has worked to promote a thriving culture of entrepreneurship in our province, and we are starting to see the results. Before joining the Caisse de Dépôt in 2009, Mr. Sabia held a number of leadership positions with Bell Canada Enterprises, including that of President and Chief Executive Officer. In the 1990s, Mr. Sabia occupied various roles with Canadian National Railway, including its chief financial officer. He spent the preceding decade working in the Government of Canada as Director General at the Department of Finance 
and Deputy, Secretar De De Deputy Secretary in the Privy Council. During this period, he played an instrumental role in shaping government priorities and in planning for economic and tax policy. Monsieur Sebia est bachelier en économie et en politique de l'Université de Toronto. Il détient aussi des diplômes d'études supérieures en économie et politique de l'Université Yale. For our students graduating today, Mr. Sebia is an exceptional role model. In addition to his remarkable work ethic and creativity, Mr. Sebia also has an exemplary record of community leadership. He served as honorary chairman of the Bal du Centre Hôpitalier de l'Université de Québec. He led the fundraising campaign for Maison Saint-Gabriel, a Montreal museum and historic site. And Mr. Sebia has also co-chaired campaigns for the Montreal Heart Institute Foundation and Centrade of Greater Montreal. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate and the Board of Governors, it is my privilege and honor to present to you Mr. Michael Sabia, so that you may confer upon him the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. Now, Dr. Sabia will give you his convocation address. Dr. Sabia. Mesdames, Messieurs, uh, merci beaucoup, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much and, and good afternoon. Uh, first, of course, um, I'd like to thank Concordia for this honor and honor that I very, very much appreciate. Et bien sûr, permettez-moi de vous féliciter, vous les diplômés. Contrairement à moi, vous, vous méritez vraiment votre diplôme. Je suis tout de même très heureux, très heureux d'avoir cette occasion de partager quelques réflexions avec vous en cette journée qui est véritablement la vôtre. En pensant à notre rencontre cet après-midi, j'ai regardé quelques discours qui avaient été prononcés par des personnes de tous les horizons, et j'ai constaté qu'on pouvait classer les récipiendaires en trois grandes catégories. So, three broad categories. The first, people who get these honorary degrees, is the celebrity guest. Usually a comedian or a movie star who brings glamour to the proceedings. Well, as you can see, that's clearly not my category. <laughs> and because I didn't have the good fortune of attending Concordia, I don't fall into the second category, which is the old girl or old boy, a past student of the school, usually someone no one knows from a time no one remembers, imparting wisdom that basically no one will follow. So, so that left the third category. Someone who's got to that stage of life where they've managed to convince themselves, and probably only themselves, that they've had a fascinating career that can be distilled into unforgettable, precious pearls of wisdom. Well, I guess, uncomfortably, that's where I fit in these three categories. But frankly, today I don't want to talk about me. I want to talk about you and the world you're entering, a world that needs your talents, skills, and your imagination. I want to focus on the importance of doing real things, building real businesses, and therefore making a real difference. Because somewhere in the last couple of decades, I think we've lost our way. Our financial system, used to be the handmaiden of the industrial economy, 
the circulatory system, if you will. Its job was to help people do real things. But then something happened. The financial system stopped being a means to an end and became an end in itself. It started being about itself. Now, some people call this financialization, the growing scale and power of the financial sector compared to the rest of the economy. The United States, for example. The financial sector is now more than twice the size it's been historically. Financial sector profits now represent a quarter of total corporate profits. Twice, twice their average level in the 40 years between 1950 and 1990. Now, having said that, let me be very clear. There are a lot of good people, very good people, doing important work in the field of finance. Finance is indispensable to our economic well-being. That said, we all remember the mind-numbing products that contributed to the financial crisis of 2008. Collateralized debt obligations, synthetic default swaps, CMBS, RMBS, subprime, and even ninja mortgages. Même en étant conscient des ravages causés par la crise financière, il y a encore beaucoup trop de gens qui, au lieu de produire du concret, consacrent temps et énergie à concevoir de nouvelles abstractions financières. Il s'agit d'instruments financiers complexes dont très peu de gens saisissent la structure ou la portée. Pourquoi est-ce que c'est un problème? Trois raisons. Premièrement, ça crée une économie dont l'utilité se résume à faire de l'argent avec de l'argent. On effectue des transactions, on brasse du papier sans créer un emploi, un produit ou un service qui est une utilité quelconque pour les gens. Donc, rien de durable au plan économique et social. Deuxièmement, toute cette ingénierie financière qui tient presque de la magie draine, draine des ressources et du talent qui pourrait être employé de façon beaucoup plus productive. Pensons plutôt à investir dans la science et la technologie d'avant-garde ou dans les projets qui créent les emplois et qui favorisent la croissance de l'économie réelle. Every graduate, every graduate from a business school like this who works on some exotic new financial product is a graduate that's not creating the next Tesla or Shopify or Apple, or who's not helping to grow Bombardier, SNC-Lavalin, or Canadien National. The money and time invested in some new synthetic financial product is money and time that are not being invested in extending the battery life of electric cars or discovering better ways to deliver vaccines. Third, this financialization is impairing our ability to think long-term and to tackle big, complex issues. The focus on high yields and quick returns has become not just an operating principle for businesses, it's become a mindset for our society, impeding progress on some of the most important challenges we face. Vous pourriez penser que ceci ne vous concerne pas. Mais en tant que nouveau diplômé, vous êtes directement interpellé par cette question, parce que votre éducation vous place dans une position privilégiée, avec des talents et des connaissances que la majorité des gens ne possèdent pas. Évidemment, c'est à vous de choisir comment vous allez utiliser vos compétences. Vous pouvez vous joindre à ceux qui consacrent leur vie à faire bouger de l'argent virtuellement qui génère des profits sans produire quoi que ce soit. C'est une avenue qui s'offre à vous. Alternatively, you can use your talents and training to contribute in ways that build something real. By getting involved in businesses that are developing ways to produce energy that don't degrade the planet, powering cars without fossil fuels, moving people around great cities, unlocking the information in our genes. You can build companies that develop 
applications that solve real problems for real people, that respond to customer needs, that improve their experience or boost their productivity, that create whole new markets. You can find creative ways to finance urban transit systems, bridges and airports that are so important in today's competitive world. Or you can think up ways to invest pension assets for the long-term health of companies and countries. The point is simply this. You can make a difference by doing something real, by channeling your talents into the real economy. And ladies and gentlemen, if you do, our economy will be sounder, our society will be stronger, and I believe your own lives will be richer. So go build something real. And with that, I wish you all good things. Well, I've known Michael for quite a few years. I've observed him from up close, and I can, I think you'll all agree with me that he is highly deserving of this accolade that we've given him today. Throughout his career, Michael has contributed his resources, his time, his unbounded energy, is in the influence that he was lent to promote business and social entrepreneurship amongst young Canadians so that they can, each and every one of them, build real things, develop real things, and genuinely touch people's lives in a positive way for those that decide a life of social entrepreneurship. My coach is a model de service public, de leadership en affaires et d'engagement communautaire, dont l'exemple sera inspiré nos graduates d'aujourd'hui à Concordia. And on their behalf, Thank you, Michael, for your stimulating and inspiring message to the John Molson's graduating class. I'm sure they all appreciate it. Your turn now. And now I call on, on Provost Ben-Antoine Bacon for the conferring of degrees. Let's do it. Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of Senate, I present to you the candidates for the doctoral and doctorate, for the master and magisteriate degrees, and for the graduate diplomas and certificate in the John Molson School of Business. I certify that these candidates have fulfilled the requirements for these degrees, diplomas, and certificates. Monsieur le Chancelier, Au nom du Sénat, je vous présente les candidats au doctorat et à la maîtrise, ainsi qu'au diplôme et au certificat de deuxième cycle de l'école de gestion John Molson. J'atteste qu'ils satisfont aux exigences de ces grades, diplômes et certificats. Will the doctoral and doctorate, master and magisteriate, diploma and certificate candidates please stand? look good. By the authority of the Corporation and the Board of Governors of the University, I admit each of you to the appropriate degree, diploma, or certificate as approved by the Senate and certified by the Provost, and I grant you with all the, uh, the titles, honors, duties, rights, and privileges which are linked to these degrees, di di diplomas, and certificates. À titre de chancelier et en vertu de l'autorité de, la, de la Corporation et du Conseil des gouverneurs de l'Université, je vous confère les grades, diplômes ou certificats sur l'attestation du Sénat et je vous octroie tous les titres, honneurs, droits et privilèges afférents à ces grades, diplômes ou certificats. Congratulations. Please be seated. Mr. Chancellor. On behalf of Senate, I present to you the candidates for the bachelor and baccalaureate degrees in the John Molson School of Business. I certify that these candidates have fulfilled the requirements for these degrees. Monsieur le Chancelier, 
Au nom du Sénat, je vous présente les candidats au baccalauréat de l'École de gestion John Molson. J'atteste qu'ils satisfont aux exigences de ce grade. Will the bachelor and baccalaureate candidates please stand? I see you folks didn't come alone. Okay, just give me a chance. <laughs> Unless you want to come and read this stuff. By the authority of the corporation and the Board of Governors of the University, I admit each of you to the Bachelor or Baccalaureate degrees as approved by the Senate and certified by the Profos. And I grant each and every one of you with all the duties, titles, honors, rights and privileges that are linked to these, de to these degrees, diplomas, or certificates. À titre de chancelier et en vertu de l'autorité de la corporation et du conseil des gouverneurs de l'université, je vous confère les grades de bachelier ou baccalauréat sur l'attestation du Sénat et je vous octroie tous les titres, honneurs, devoirs, droits et privilèges afférents à ces grades, diplômes ou certificats. Félicitations, congratulations, please be seated. While our graduates prepare to cross the stage, I invite you to enjoy the music of the Encore Brass Quintet. introduce to you the candidates for the Doctor of Doctorate in Philosophy from the following program, Business Administration. Isa Kiani. Woo. 
I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Business Administration. Andrea Akari. Naranjan Bakre. Parisa Darvish. Binta Doso. Michelle Fader. Amanda Kamal. Annabelle Lefebvre. Fadi Makram. <laughs> Olga Meleshko. <laughs> Rima Mohammed. <laughs> Lupa Mukherjee. Golnaz Ashtiani. <laughs> Siddharth Pilpakari. <laughs> Christian Roth. <laughs> Milad Saliba. Stephanie Santini. <laughs> Jessica Schwartz. <laughs> Tia Su. <laughs> Tara Walker. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Master of Magisteriate in Science from the following program, Administration. Tara Kehani. Harshot Singh. Allah Salman. <laughs> Wensi Yan. <laughs> I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the graduate diploma in the following programs Business Administration and Chartered Accountancy. Hussein Asaf. <laughs> Gina Ore. <laughs> Ekaterina Ladrite. Olofalake Okasana. Rini Sharma. Rini Sharma. 
Asal Tajdidi. Fariodun Mohamed Vakatan. Victoria Zapata. <laughs> Melissa Aristeo. <laughs> Susan Butiche. Serge Garabedian. Roy Greenberg. Stefan Yankovic. Jessica Lamb. Louise Lacour. <laughs> Irina Marinescu. <laughs> Philip Pol Oops, excuse me. Philip Poles. <laughs> Taron Suri. Mohammed Erkbal Torkamanzei. <laughs> Brittany Wolf. <laughs> Jun Hao Zi. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Administration. Muhammad Sharif Al Ghossain. Reggie Charles. Carl Kutley. Stephen Day. Stephen Day. <laughs> Joseph Clifford Fernando. Natasha Garizzi. <laughs> Heidi Gaffar. <laughs> Bilal Hassan. Michel Leduc. <laughs> Marie Hélène Lemay. <laughs> Sophia Levancron. Stephen McPhee. Oh. 
Astrid Patricia Pizzati. Jordan Karanovich. Jordan Poronovich. Clifford Reed. <laughs> Jamie Ryan. <laughs> Matthew Watson. Roslyn Youssef. I'm pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce from the following departments, Accountancy and Supply Chain and Business Technology Management. Michal Ahmed. Cynthia Alfonsi. Ancien Alfred Raja. Violet Anderson. Omar Assoum. Richard August with great distinction. Joseph Bartlett. Joseph Bartlett with great distinction. Ismail Abdelmona and Bengiza. Lara Bobot with distinction. Michael Bucci. Swan U B. Sabrina Canucci. Jean Sebastien Castellon. Shane Cavaluzzi. Christine Shalvarjan. Shamsul Kabir Chowdhury. Stephanie Clement. <laughs> Vanessa Costanzo. <laughs> Alexandra D'Alessio with distinction. Mohammed George Diko with distinction. Yeah. 
Christine Fahmi. Janine Fahmi with distinction. Ward Ferraye. Carl Fong. Frank Fragos. Jason Friend. Jason Friend. Alexander Garofalo. Alexander Garofalo with distinction. Miles Herrer with distinction. <laughs> FM Tanim Hussein. <laughs> Yusuf Kamia. Ning Khan. <laughs> Anna Keketsian with distinction. <laughs> Nan Lee with distinction. Yun Shang Li. Marco Linares. Steve Lewich with distinction. Xi Jing Lu with distinction. Timothy Mog. Jason Maman. Laura Mesli Duchenne. <laughs> Pietro Miniaka. <laughs> Frankie New. Brianti Nirmalati Takumar. <laughs> Catherine Noble. <laughs> Melissa Grace Padulo. Freshta Pamiri. Sihim <laughs> Peng. <laughs> Arpam Patel with distinction.
Eric Pelleran Terrien with great distinction. Julia Picciuto. Ryan Pozuelo with distinction. Habiba Kayum. Lukshana Ramanakumar. Diandra Salcedo. Sabrina Savoy. Alessandra Shena with distinction. Francis Shank with distinction. Gegam Sukiasian. Larissa Spivak. Anna Spivak. Ahmad Sultan. Milin Tan. Adriana Bamvas. Kit Yi Wan. Xin Wen. Vanessa Williams. Yi Chun U. Han Shu with distinction. Wen Jing Shu. Kan Hong Yun. Han Zhao. Dina Zorub. <laughs> Talen Bembasadian. <laughs> Maryam Bellamer. Vanessa Dayan. Alicia Diaz with distinction. Jason 
Jason Eldeps. Gabriel Eugenio. Chen Chen Guo. Khalil Hayat. And to Huang. Shinzia Lanuzzi. Sarah Montasar. Marie Milan Pham. Bo Sun. Mohammed Wahba. I am pleased to introduce to you the candidates for the Bachelor of Baccalaureate in Commerce from the following departments, Economics, Finance, International Business, Management, and Marketing. Abdullah Al-Khatani. <laughs> Saud Bagunani. <laughs> Mary Benoud. Gerald Jean Bienemé. Jedediah Aidan Blumis. Patrick Carpenter. Karen Chang. Yan Chen. Artem Chinkaruk. David Chung with great distinction. Donald Corkum with distinction. <clears throat> Dimitrios Delfakis with distinction. <clears throat> Majed Diab. Kyle Fagenbaum with distinction. <clears throat> Charles Gabriel Fillion. <clears throat> Fu Zhen. Just 
Justin Hagen. Say it again. Tan Tung Huang. James Adaluka with distinction. Mario Cashew with distinction. Lina Kanan. Julian Kateresen with distinction. Isaac Lampierre. Jin Wa Li. <clears throat> Jin Nan Li. <clears throat> Ying Liu. Sao Lu. Jeffrey Lin with great distinction. <clears throat> Rabin Mahendran. Dimitri Masutin with great distinction. <clears throat> Nazri Antoine Mazloun with distinction. Sagar Mitra with distinction. Mariam Meslini. Ari Padarian. Cyprian Petruta. Xiao Yi Qu. Jean Philippe Roy. Julian Saleh with distinction. Rayan Salim. Sabrina Salvo. Loïc Saint-Cartier with distinction. Melanie Sellers. <clears throat> Vanessa Tran. Michael Trokia. Timor Ehrman. <coughs> Jing Wen Zhang. Min Zhang. Xiaowei Zhang. Min 
بالمقابل في نقطة نادية موسى موسن عديب بندر السوداري بندر السوداري Zalmay Ashuri. Rim Barada with distinction. Carolina Campos Van Stralen. Sandro Dabagian with distinction. <laughs> Mustafa Mohammed El Najar. Maria Aminudu. Emily Jones. Matthew LaRiviere. Madison Maine. Jessica Munoz Sanchez. <laughs> Siman Nofal with distinction. <clears throat> Javid Nieto Vega. Daron Seller Peretz. <laughs> Salvatore Tadoni with distinction. <laughs> Zach Haller. <laughs> Stefan Basmajian. <laughs> Courtney Brody. <laughs> Cheng Chen. <laughs> Peter El Kalasi. <laughs> Natalie Fanus. Lisa Hung with distinction. <laughs> Namet Khatib. <laughs> Mariam Malik. <laughs> Genevieve Michaud with distinction. Ashley Pugh. Farah Spady with distinction. <clears throat> Mira Tabara. <laughs> Megan Barbara.
Diana Conchetta Coletta with distinction. <laughs> Lilia Jade Poliam. Banitter Gill. <laughs> Erica Yapalucci. <laughs> Maxime Louidou. <laughs> Amanda Lento. Wilson Lee. <laughs> Alex Ney. <clears throat> Louis Viet Nguyen. Tamara Nowitzki. Alana Pasquino. Samantha Robb. Daniela Sarmiento Yarmilo. Catherine Wong with distinction. Bolin Zhu. Well, give it up for yourselves because you did very well. Now, I'd like to proceed and uh, introduce your valedictorian, Dr. Isar Kiani, who will speak to you momentarily, defended her PhD dissertation, Mavenism, Its Antecedents and Market Helping Behavior, was the title, in July 2014 under the supervision of Dr. Michel Laroche from the Department of Marketing. Dr. Kiani's research analyzes the influence of market mavens or individuals with great knowledge and industry connections in the diffusion of market information, especially in the context of online marketing and social media communications. Dr. Kiani is currently an assistant professor of marketing at Lawrence Technological University in Southfield, Michigan. Now join me in welcoming your valedictorian, Dr. Isar Kiani, to give her address. Doctor. Chancellor Minak, Chairman Hebert, President and Vice Chancellor Shepard, Dr. Sabia, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, proud families and friends. I'm honored today, I'm honored to address you today on behalf of the graduating students. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate all of us graduating today from one of the world's leading business schools. John Mason School of Business is a pioneer in knowledge creation and an excellent place to learn. Your presence here today is an affirmation of your quality to deserve the degree you are awarded. It is also important to recognize 
value, and appreciate the support we received from those around us as we found our way forward. The large presence of family members, friends, and distinguished members of Concordia's academic community verifies once more the great presence of loving support from those closest to us. We are here together to celebrate being part of a great family. The family, the family of GMSV alumni. Like members of any family, we remain committed to common sets of values and principles. Most importantly, we will stay committed to the betterment of our surrounding societies. According to Hiram Smith, new knowledge is of little value if it doesn't change us, make us better individuals, and help us to be more productive, happy, and useful. I can see everybody are happy today. We are proud because our education and achievements at Concordia have equipped us with knowledge and skills that captured, the, that captured in a sense by words of Herman Her Smith. We are also well aware that what we have accomplished is best utilized when directed toward the first that enhance the overall quality of living for humankind. At Concordia, in an environment full of diversity, we learned to overcome our differences and to work towards constructive cooperation. In a world so struck by war and conflict, resulting from intolerance and lack of mutual understanding, Concordia's values provide us with a guiding beacon that lights the, head, the road ahead. Today, I stand before you with a pledge for all of us. We, as JMSB alumni, pledge to be excellent representatives of the great institution we are graduating from. As educators, we will incorporate the values we have adopted in our teaching to future generations. As researchers, we will conduct research that benefits not just a few organizations, but that is truly meaningful and useful to the society. And as practitioners, we will continu continue to give back to the society and will never violate the ethical codes of conduct. We will never violate the ethical codes of conduct. The road ahead is full of challenges, but our future is bright. Behind each and every one of us, there is the reputation of John Molson School of Business and Concordia University as a resource for aid and support in our endeavors. The many outstanding faculty members who contribute tirelessly to this reputation through their cutting edge research are pillars of this incredible resource. We recognize the efforts of these many individuals and we salute them with ever, and with, and we salute them with an everlasting gratitude. Thank you and congratulations again. Thank you, Izar. I think uh, from her remarks, you know, it's pretty clear in my mind that she's going to be a great ambassador from Concordia and also a great ambassador for the JMSB uh, alumni uh, assembled here today. She talked about knowledge and its impact and important of knowledge, bringing happiness. And I guess you've figured out the happiness part from looking at you today, uh, but also through the exemplary research that she does and also the contributions that you're going to make, knowledge has to obviously make society better. And uh, I'm convinced here that all of you have that at heart and are going to be engaged in that very soon if you haven't already. So on your behalf, please thank Dr. 
Isar Kiani for her inspirational and, and stimulating speech. Thank you, Doctor. And now, let me call on Prevost Bacon for his closing remarks. Prevost? D'abord, mesdames et messieurs, merci. Merci d'être venu en si grand nombre pour partager avec nous la joie de nos diplômés. Thank you all for being here to celebrate the success of the GMSB class of 2014. Dear graduates, congratulations. This is a great day for you, a great day for GMSB, a great day for Concordia. Throughout your studies, you've had the full support of your outstanding professors and other members of the Concordia community. Just as importantly, you've also had the full support of your family, your friends, many of whom are here today to celebrate with you. If they could not be here physically today, they're here in spirit, perhaps watching the ceremony live on our website, some may be doing that in the middle of the night, half a world away. Graduates, I'm going to ask you to stand up. Please stand up. Graduates, we're all, we're all so proud of you, but you didn't do it alone. So I'm going to ask you to turn around and face the back of the room and let your friends and family know how much you love them and appreciate their support. Dear graduates, a final, final word. Concordia will always be your university. All your life, you will be GMSB and Concordia graduates. Maybe you'll come back here for further studies. <laughs> Still time to apply. Uh, maybe like myself who graduated from here about 25 years ago, you'll have the chance to come back here and work one day. Maybe one day you'll be the proud parents of the next generation of Concordia students. Of course, as alumni, you'll play an important role in supporting our students and promoting the reputation of our great university. And wherever you go, I'm sure you'll make us proud. Well, we've come to the end of our ceremony. Thank you all once again for being with us today. Please, as you leave, join us in the hall for a vain Thank you. Thank you.